up guys it's your girl Kalithia and today I'm gonna be doing a slime tutorial and um, for this you will need a bowl I'm um, sorry about that that's just glue or whatever and a spoon you will also be needing glue I'm using clear glue right here um I don't have any white glue but um, I'm just gonna start going um, you should be able to tell what I'm using just by looking at what I add in. Or I'll just tell you, but I really want this to be a most satisfying video so you guys can hear the sounds and stuff. So, let's get into the video. So, I'm starting off by pouring in the glue and I'm making a small slime. I'm only using a little glue because I know that when I add the shaving cream in the water, the it will be bigger. Okay, um, now we're gonna add in some shaving cream. Sorry that it looks dirty. Um, when I need my slime sometimes, um, my hands are dirty because of the slime, but I'm using this pure, pure silk. Um, it is scented, um, I don't know, but it smells like raspberry in my opinion. And I know some of you guys are cringing right now, like why is she putting shaving cream in clear glue? That is because I don't have any white glue. So it doesn't matter what you use clear glue for. So that's what we're using. So I added in the shaving cream and now I'm gonna add in some water. Water was will loosen it up some. Um, this is optional, the things I'm using, except for the glue, you need glue. But the other things is optional. I'm adding some cornstarch just for a more matte texture. Okay. And then I am using this foaming hand soap. It's called Purpose. Um, and it's scented apple, but in my opinion, it smells like raspberry. So I'm going to shake it up because it's almost gone. Actually, it's already gone. I just added water and I shaked it up. And the soap that was still in there made it foamy again um so that's why none is coming out so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it and pour it in the liquid this will also make it smell good and if it was foam it would make it fluffy but right about now the foam is not really foamy if that makes sense and you can use food coloring, which is optional. You can use paint, which is optional. Um, but I'm going to use some food coloring. I'm actually going to do um, a little bit of green and a little bit of blue because I want a turquoise. And this came out really fast. And if you're wondering where I got this food coloring, it came out of a slime kit. And... This just comes out, this one just comes out of a regular um, blue coloring thing. Um, now we can just start mixing. Oopsies. All right. Ew, it didn't really give me a good look color. It's more of a minty color. I want it darker, so I'm going to add some more food coloring. Look, guys, I don't even have to squeeze it, and it just comes out. See? I didn't even squeeze it. But I'm going to squeeze it this time, because I think I need more. And then we're going to add more blue. If it gets too dark, um, you could add more shaving cream, which will make it lighter, but it also makes your slime more fluffy. Sorry if the scraping sounds is not satisfying. I'm using a plastic spork on this plastic bowl. Well, it's still like a minty color, but it'll have to do. So after that, we can start activating the slime. So for my activator, I'm using a teaspoon. I don't know if you can see the writing on that. It says a teaspoon. A borax 
I don't have little, which I got out of a slime kit. Because if you don't want to buy a big box of borax, just get a small slime kit. Keep the stuff and make slime. And just use the borax for a little bit of borax. So you don't have to buy the big thing of borax. And then you will need... Um, this is a cup. It's just the handle broke. You can see it's a cup of water. Hot water at that. So it will dissolve better. But you can also use cold water. It doesn't really matter. So I put my activator in. Sorry again, guys. It is a dirty bottle. It, my glue came in it, and I washed it out, and I took off the um, the tag, and it has this sticky stuff on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like sticky stuff. And then when I use it, the slime gets all over the sticky part. So it's really not that bad. Um, I'm just using it to activate my slime. It doesn't have to be pretty. But here it is. It says borax. So I'm going to mix this up some more. And you can add add-ins at the end. Like you can add some foaming. Not <laughs> You can add some foam beads, which I only have a little. You can add glitter. Um, yeah, that type of stuff. So I'm going to use a little at a time. I feel bad using clear glue for this. But um, it's the only glue I have. And happy Friday to... You guys, um, comment down below what you're going to be doing this week. I really like that I set up this little stand. I'm in a different position place. Um, but I really like it. It's better than having a tripod. Sorry that you can see these little boxes here. I was trying to make it unnoticeable. But that's what I'm using to um, help me get my camera up. So once you start seeing it pull from the bowl, um, that means it's almost ready. So I'm taking it off, and it came off. Um, let me pull up my sleeves. And we're just going to get our hands in there and start kneading it. I've, I have did some videos when I did um, make slime, but they wasn't so much professional. And by professional, I mean like good quality and you could see in the bowl. So I'm glad I came up with this idea of setting up the camera because my phone, um, this is what I record on my phone. And it's so much better to have like this phone camera and just be able to set up stuff to make it as something I could put my phone on and if you can't see me need the slime it's because I'm I'm in a tight area so I need it to be in front of me where I can be more comfortable by needing it so if I'm like this is really not that comfortable because I don't want to knock over the boxes because I showed you guys in my other video my ASMR video of what I set it up on sorry I'm talking so much guys it's just I have a lot to say but I promise that I will put in some ASMR clips um, and I won't be talking. So you just want to make sure it cleans the bowl. And when you're mixing it, if it comes off the bowl, that's how you know that it's almost ready. So I will be right back when I am done kneading this and the bowl is all clean out and we'll be ready for the ASMR, but I will be showing you guys what I might add in. I don't know if I want to add in anything, honestly, because it's such a nice slime. Um, um, I'm going to add in a little bit of more borax. And it's kind of glossy. I don't know how. I think it's because I use clear glue. But... Yeah, guys, I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I decided that I wanted to use these little bitty foam, not little, little bitty, but these little bits of foam beads I have. I just want to use a little bit because when you add foam beads, sometimes it takes up space in the container you use. So I just want to add a little. I don't know if that's a little. I'm just adding. Sorry if it's not that satisfying. Um, because I know some people like it when they drop the slime in the um, bowl with the foam beads, but I'm not going to do that. 
But I'm going to be quiet because this is kind of satisfying. Okay guys, um, so this is the slime. I kind of regret adding in the foam beads now that they're in there because I really liked how it was. It was glossy and stuff, but it's still glossy. But, um, it smells good. It smells like raspberry and strawberry, even though it's green, which is kind of weird, but a smell is a smell. At least it smells good. But yeah guys, this is the slime. I just wanted to do a slime tutorial. Sorry guys, I'm back. My dad called me because... There was another baby fish in the fish tank that we didn't know about. So, like I said, this is the slime. I hope you guys like this slime tutorial. I really wanted to do another slime tutorial, but, like, more and better quality so you can see inside the bowl. And I think this turned out really great. Um, I can just tell by how I'm looking at it while, while it's recording. But, yeah. Um, comment down below what you guys want me to do next. I have something in mind. Um, comment down some slime pet peeves because I really want to do that type of video. And if I don't get a lot, I'm just going to mix them in with some of my pet peeves and some of you guys' pet peeves. Because I have a, not a lot, but I have some slime pet peeves that annoy me. Um, but you guys will see that in the next video. Oops. So yeah, just comment down some slime pet peeves, and I will have them ready to look at. And I will also be giving out shout outs in that video if you participated and um, told me some slime pet peeves. I will have my laptop beside me, looking at some of you guys' slime pet peeves, and I will be doing them and also giving out shout outs to those people. Sorry guys, I just keep picking it up, forgetting I'm doing a video. So here's some ASMR I'm doing at the end of the video. So um, enjoy. Have a moment, take you. Sorry guys, my dad asked me a question. Okay guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I kind of pointed in the wrong place. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, this is the end of the video. I did some ASMR. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to repeat it again. Make sure to comment down below some slime pet peeves that you do not like. Or that you hate that people do. When they do slime, or when they make slime, I mean, that don't make sense. But, yeah, make sure you comment down some slime pet peeves. And if I don't get a lot of slime pet peeves, I will, um, do, I will combine the ones that I got and some of mine's in the video, um, if I don't get a lot. Um, 
but yeah just comment down some below and i will look at them on my laptop and when i'm doing the video while i read them i will be giving shout outs um so yeah um that's all um yeah that's all i have to say and other than the slime pet peeves video comment down some comment down below some other slime videos you want me to do I will not be doing the gummy food versus real food challenge or, you know, that type of stuff because it's just so much, like, so much stuff to get. And I hope you guys don't think I'm rich because I don't have a lot of money to be doing those type of challenges and getting all that candy because I'm not getting all that candy. I already have two cavities, so, yeah. So, yeah, bye, guys. Like I said, give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below some slime pet peeves or other videos you want me to do. And subscribe to be part of Clithia's Arts and Craft Crew. See you guys later. Bye.